Hooray for cleanup. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just get Here, Mario. These. I've been kidnapped again. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Damn it. Yes. Oh, there's only one available. Okay. The kitchen then. Yeah. Fun times. <laughs> I'm expecting... It's either going to be like beach ball or mansion level. Oh, okay, beach ball. Okay, this will be a chill one then. Yeah, a lot of the comments we have left are like... Uh, there's quite a few like exploration ones. Um, we still haven't, haven't done like a few of the really bad ones. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, there's uh, Luigi's Purple Coins, there's the one in um, the Haunted Mansion level that I keep forgetting the name of. Um, probably others I can't right remember, but, but like those two are like some of the hardest yeah. levels in the whole game, so that'll be interesting. But yeah, uh, this is just going to be another explore the level um, for all the coins, so... If you guys have any topics to talk about, now be now will be the time to bring them up. Well, I guess I'll bring it up now since we were talking about it a moment. Hey, as of this or as of this, uh, Nick All Star Brawl finally got their voice acting. Hmm. Yeah, it was like really random. Like, just I heard about it earlier today, and it's just like that's a thing, I guess. <laughs> I don't know well, how I much mean... it would help the game's like longevity, but. Well, it, it's probably gonna, it's probably gonna at least like full, uh, re, re, re spark some interest because mm. part I think part of the problem with the original game was it, but as a voice, I think it kind of felt empty. Mm. Also, just just to quickly talk about this, I love how they just put like one s specific purple coin above the penguin's head because it's just so you had to bounce on him. It's amazing. <laughs> but yeah, um, what is it? Yeah, I, I don't know if it's going to make people a lot of people like come back to the game, but it's nice that they're actually doing that. I mean, what? everyone was playing. If so many people were claiming that a lack of voice acting was a deal breaker, then it's time to put their money where their mouths were. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my issue was, I mean, have, not having voice acting doesn't really help, but my issue with the game was the fact that like, um, a lot of the animations just don't look the best, if I'll be blunt. like. A lot of the animations just kind of make attacks look too samey, so I I don't yeah I yeah I don't know I've never been like super hot on Nickel Stars. Um, I, I mean, like the idea I mean, of it, but for me it was more so a fact of like pretty attacks. It was just more that everything looked really jolty. Yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah, the, it it looks really jolty. Um, like too, everything is like yeah. too everything like I get it helps the speed of the game, but everything is too fast in terms of the animation. Yeah, I feel like the game is, is like, fast to a fault, if that makes sense. Like, it, it feels like it's it's trying to be way too fast without thinking about, uh, like, animation or game feel. Hmm. Like, maybe I'm wrong. I haven't actually played the game, but that's what it looks like. I played it, I played it with uh, Nick and Xavier on the Switch. Mm. I, because I can, I can definitely tell you one thing. Voice acting <laughs> is definitely one of the bigger... Like things that people wanted because, um, if you check the PC version, like people playing the PC version, like everybody's been modding it to hell and back. I'd imagine so. Just to get <laughs> just and it's using just old voice acting clips though, but still. Why is a penguin doing the Naruto run? Uh, he's, uh, ju he's just having fun. Although a friend of mine who actually is like super into the game, he's uh. He's excited. Hey, I'll bet he's excited about the voice acting. I haven't checked out with him yet. Mm. That wouldn't be Rob, would it? I sent him the patch and the Twitter thing, so maybe I'm not, I might get a response from him. <laughs> Are you talking about Rob or someone else? Someone else. Okay. A different friend of mine. You, gosh, imagine if it, yeah, imagine if you had to keep the spring the whole time. Oh god, that'd be awful. <laughs> I don't. Hate this hate Spring Mario, but it's, it's a bit unwieldy. I think it depends on the level design, like what it's used for. Like it's fine for toy time. I, yeah. 
I'm asking you, my friend, right now. Does this voice acting help a lot? <laughs> God, going up these trees makes it—it it feels like sunshine. <clears throat> <laughs> Although, ironically, it's uh, harder to do that in this game because you don't have hover nozzle. <laughs> 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 I don't even know if there's anything up there. I'm busy with- I'm sorry, I'm full of stress yeah. or something. I yeah, I guess, like, another thing is, like, it's more of a personal thing, I guess, but... Um, the other reason I'm not super crazy about Nick, Nick All Stars, is because... I- I've no, I didn't re really grow up with a lot of, uh, Nick shows in general. So that's just kind of my personal um, bias, I guess. But I, oh. I do like that they like did a Nick Smash Bros game though. Hmm. I'm also. I mean, I'm glad that they're also like they were like they're still trying. They were basically they're, they were still trying. They didn't just leave it. <laughs> yeah, I can't fault the developers because it's not really their fault that the game uh, had a, a lot of these issues. Um, like. We're talking about this off camera, but a lot of it is just due to um, lack of budget and um, resources, from what I can tell. Mm. Fighting games are expensive, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, Smash mm. Bros. being as big as it is is not like a common thing. <laughs> well, apparently, it is. Apparently, my friend says it is on Switch. Oh. Hmm. I'll have to check on that. He says, like, the nice edition, I was already a big fan. Of the he said he was already a big fan of the game before, even before the, vo the, the voice acting. Fair enough. I don't know how well the game did sales-wise, but... Probably I, well at launch. I I yeah, know. I assume it launched pretty well. Probably. I mean, like, it was it was hyped up a lot during during its reveal. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, everyone was talking I about it when it was like... <clears throat> when it was like I the think, next big thing. I think it came out just as Thora was released. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is either a blessing or a curse. <laughs> Pretty much. Because it's timing. Well, yeah. The blessing is Smash pretty much run its course, so right. Yeah, Smash is like Smash run its course, and I don't think that's um we're gonna get anything Smash related for like at like, probably like half a decade or something. Yeah. Wait, what? Versus Smash Bros. Yeah, if you're going up against now. if you're going up against Smash Bros, then uh, yeah, good freaking luck. But it's Sora. Sora. Yeah, you can't really beat that. <laughs> oh great! Wait till, no, I had to find like two. Wait till, just wait till Nick All Star Brawl actually gets Goku. <laughs> oh, that'll be something. Okay, now I need to look for two stray coins. Ain't this fun? I cut out just after I made my one line about fighting games being expensive. Like, I think people forget Smash Brothers was a budget project originally. Yeah, that's the thing as well. <clears throat> like, 64 um, is... Like, Smash 64 is nowhere near, like, the limit of what the N64 can do. Like, even... Like, it... It works fine enough, but, like... Um, <laughs> you can tell that the first game is very budget. Well, and look where it is now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you gotta give, give these things time. It's like people want to just bury a franchise preemptively. Yeah. You're not... You, I, I can't think of any series that, like, nails it on the first game. Super Mario Brothers. Now that's perfect, well, but it is. I mean, I wouldn't say... I mean, I don't know. Like, I like Mario 1, but I wouldn't say it's like... It completely nailed it, necessarily. It did what it needed to do. I mean, mm. no game nails it. It's just yeah. a matter of... But I, I mean, it was a complete product product when it released. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> there's all. I guess there's also the fact that, like, um, not companies don't always know where to go after the first game because, like, with like Mario 2, there's, like, two different versions of that. And... I don't think they really understood where to take the series until Mario 3. And I feel the same with Zelda as well. Um, okay, first off, let's see what these are. Deep Dark, 
definitely time. Why couldn't they just have a button to summon the map? That would have been really helpful. I think all of these are just collection missions. I to the world. I don't actually remember. Oh no, Toy Time's Luigi. <laughs> Do it. Oh god. Yes. Oh, this way. Um, yeah, I was saying. Um, yeah, I, I feel the same with so same way with the Zelda series because Zelda one is what it is, and then Zelda two is like this weird um, 2D side scroller RPG kind of game thing, and then Links to the Past is where they f like actually knew what to what direction to take. Um, so I, I don't know. It's interesting just seeing how companies or developers rather like figure out where they want to take their series. Um, you can argue, like, which ones do a better job, but... Hmm. I haven't done this in such a long time. This is probably going to be really bad. For a moment, because I gotta play like groceries. Hmm. I have no idea what the best like route for this is at all, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it and hope for the best. <laughs> but yeah, like this is one of the hardest levels in the game. It's infamous for a reason, and um, yeah, <laughs> you have a really st you have a strict time limit. You have all these like platforms that shrink. And these platforms that spin around, so it makes navigating this place a lot more dangerous than it really. I, I don't know what I'm saying, but the point is, this the is difficult. Your frenzy. Yeah, and you do want to make sure that there's a path, a decent path back, because otherwise you're just gonna kill yourself getting back to the star. I hate it. <laughs> eh. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't even realize I had spares. Yeah. It, it does... Yeah, it gives you like... Um, I think there's like 150 coins in this, so it, it does give you a lot of leeway. That is the one, like, the one upside to this. Although... Galaxy 2 <laughs> brings this back, and it's arguably harder. I'm glad I got that on my first try, though. Okay, is there anything else? Nope. Can I check the map from you? Oh, I can. Okay, that's good. Okay, now go to Ghost of the Galaxy. I think sometimes there's just there might just be no comets available, and when that does happen, you do need to talk to the Luma uh, to uh, move comets around. Yeah, I think we were talking. We brought this up before, but um, I think it was Jason that talked about this. But I think in Galaxy Two, when the when a comet like appears, it's like there forever, um, which is nice. That means you can't play any of the regular missions until that one goes away, or until you die three times. Um... I don't know. I think you can still play, like, regular levels. So how does the... Wait, what? Yeah, no, in, in Galaxy 2, like, the, the comets are, like, um... Oh, this is a time I need to pause the game to talk about this. Um... Oh, Galaxy 2, I thought. Yeah, Galaxy 2, like, not, not in this game, not in this game. Um, yeah, in this game, like, comets, like, come and go whenever it feels like, I think. But in Galaxy 2, like, if a comet appears, it's always going to be there. But, um, they made it so, um, even if a comet is in a level where you haven't finished it yet, you can still do the regular levels. So, you don't have to do the comet before it, uh, before you do any other stuff. 
because, um, yeah, that can be a little bit annoying in this game where, like, you're kind of locked out of doing any of the other missions. Just a nice little quality of life improvement. Also, this one's also really hard, so I don't know how bad this is going to be, but um, I probably argue this is, like, the hardest one. It's definitely this between... I think it's between this, purple Luigi's Purple Coins, and Dreadnought. Um, but yeah, I remember having so many issues with this one. And also failing to dodge mines. Eh. Yeah, suck. I'm trying to get the like, mushroom. Oh, whatever. It's like, it's like space pachinko. Yeah. God. And the timer doesn't stop because they're jerks. Wait, seriously? Yeah. No! Oh! Oh, for the love of a... Damn it. Okay. Man, screw Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, one minute is not a lot of time. Eh. I have to work with, like, the wonky pool star physics, which is... Yeah. Oh my god. They're in like the worst positions. I would like to get this mushroom. There we go. Ooh. Oof. Yeah. They, I do like that they make, gave you like a bunch more than a hundred because that is what makes... God. This, that's what makes this like, less painful, because if you had to get exactly a hundred here, this would be, like, damn near impossible. <laughs> so a Galaxy 2 mission, then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, like, one of the reasons why the... Oh, God. Uh, the Galaxy 2 version of Luigi's Purple Coins is harder is is because, um, like, you have to get a, a straight a hundred. There's no, like... Okay, there we go. <laughs> There's no, like, leeway. Also, that was a complete accident. I kind of just bounced off of, like, the, uh, meat bone. <laughs> so, I'll take it. A lot of the hard ones are out of the way now, I think. I think the Gussy Garden one might be an issue, but... Other than that, I don't think there's any, like, super difficult ones left. Yeah, you are right. Like, the... Most of the, like, really difficult purple coin stuff is in Galaxy 2, so that's interesting. Um, okay, so... It's garden, engine, bedroom... Uh... What? Chase and go. Where did you do groceries? Uh... Handle yeah. groceries. Oh, okay, um... Hmm. Do you have any... Um, preferences. Deep Dark Galaxy. Okay. Or whatever's closest to you right now. Hmm. I don't know, is there anything, uh, you want to talk about? Anything you've been doing lately? Oh. I'm back what I missed. Nothing. Uh, well, you missed Lu <laughs> you Lu missed Luigi's Purple Coins and uh, the um, one in uh, Ghostly, Galaxy. Ghostly Galaxy. Oh, and now we're doing Deep Dark. Yes. Mm. Is this another timed? No, this is, this is just another collect all the coins. Just in a big area. This one takes a little bit, so... Honestly, these would feel less padding if they were just spread out across the game more. Yeah. Letting them out. It is kind of weird, like, how this is, like, a um, post-game thing. Like, I I do like how in Galaxy 2 they just have these available right away. I always kind of found it weird how this is, like, a thing that just appears when you beat Bowser. Um, I don't really see a reason why they can't just be available um, normally. I don't know. Like, some of these background stuff, I guess. Um, 
Some of these, like, are some of the harder missions, but... I, 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 I don't know. I hate that jellyfish. Yeah. I mean, that, I, I... I mean, I guess the thing is, like... It doesn't stop Galaxy 2 from, like, having them right away, and those are also, like, really hard, so... I don't know. It's weird. Oh, hi. Hot topic, I told Nick oh. about the, uh, All Star Brawl, about the All Star Brawl thing, and he said, um, hey, it's a start. Also, I, I guess, <laughs> to Captain Toad's, like, flashlight thing actually kills the booze. I didn't know that, that's funny. Hmm. But yeah, topics, uh... Um... Topic, yeah, that's a stork, or... <laughs> yes. Hi! Uh, I don't think we... Are... Yours can... Wait, what? You can swim, Toad, you can collect coins. Yeah, help... <laughs> if there was, like, a co-star loom, I'd, like, that could help me. Yeah, I don't think the, um, two-player can, like... Pick up purple coins in this game. Mm. I've never tried. I wouldn't. Oh yeah, you can also like spin to like. Man, get, like, have... I'm just. Yeah. You say that now. I'm just reminded of like. Uh, what? What? There's a lot of single player games that I've never tried. That have multiplayer stuff that I never got to try. Yeah. Like. I still think one of the best ones I tried was doing a, was doing Tales of Graces. Yeah, I, I would love to play a Tales of game uh, co-op, because I, I have seen some, like, like some gameplay of mainly Symphonia in co-op, and it looks really fun, although... Maybe, you could probably convince Nick to do it. Yeah, yeah, although it's, um, kind of a mess with the camera, though, because it, it doesn't really uh, accommodate for multiple players. It either is, it, what is it, to stay zoomed in on player one? I think. Either that, or what, it might do, like, a super zoom. Yeah. I mean, I think, no, I think what happens is that the game doesn't really change. It basically just works as a, as if you're just playing single player. The other play, other players just kind of have to, like, work around it. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice playing Graces, though. Mm. I'd like to try more. Well, I, I wish I could have played more. Do you have any interest in, like, I assume you haven't played any Tales game before, Scrappy. Do you have any interest in playing them? Maybe if they're on the Switch. Mm. I mean, there's there a, I mean, there's Vesperia on the Switch. Shame a couple of them are also, um, so I think some, I think, uh, Symphonia is on Steam. Mm. I would like a, um, a re-release of, uh, Symphonia on the Switch. That would be really cool. They probably released, uh, Symphonia Legacy, I think it was called, or, oh, Chronicles. Yeah, yeah. Although, it would be nice if they, uh, Boosted the game back up to 60 frames like the GameCube version. Mm -hmm. Sure, I love it when Definitive Editions don't actually have all the previous features. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, Vesperia did add, like, the stuff that, going by what Nick said, he did, it does add all of the, uh, the PlayStation co versions of additional content. Yeah. Which would include like extra care, like more characters to play as, mainly Patty and Flynn. Uh, yeah. Um, more I'm, dungeons, for, more adding, adding work that thing, mileage may vary. <laughs> yeah, from what I understand from Nurk, like, the definitive version is basically just a re release of the PS3 version, which just had a lot more content, so. It's hmm. kind of just, I guess it's just definitive in the sense that you can play it on modern systems. <laughs> Yeah, shameless plug. I uh, recently finished streaming that game. And what's next on your list in terms of Tales of games? Uh, well, I talked about this in the stream, but the only other one I haven't played yet that I own is um, Dawn of a New World. Um, is it? Oh, I was definitely gonna be there for that. So it's been. I remember. I actually still vaguely remember that one pretty well. Is it Dawn of a New World or Dawn of the New World? I always get those. Uh. Dawn of the. Okay. I always get that mixed up. Just letting you know that the Symphonia cast is there, but you're not playing, but they're mainly guest star party members. I'm just, I'm just gonna be like constantly waiting for Sheena to come back. I think <laughs> Sheena, uh, well, the first one you get is Colette. Oh, that makes sense. You, 
because like, I think they're mainly going to familiar places. I I think. Hmm. Oh god, I'm missing two. I'll just oh, say this: you're not getting until the end game. <laughs> not getting who? Lloyd. Ah. And when you do get him, he's not leaving your party. Oh, it's just done now. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was worried for yeah, a second. You don't take him out of your party. He's he's the best one. <laughs> yeah, isn't he like really broken in that game? I think so. When I played the, I used um uh, when I when I played when I did the final boss fights, I did um Lloyd and uh, I think it was Prisea. Mm. Pink hair, right? Yeah, pink hair. Yeah, it was Prisea then. Yeah, yeah, Symphonia is definitely the, um, like, outside of Kingdom Hearts, that's probably the RPG I'm most likely to, like, replay again. If I ever replay, if I ever actually properly play Symphonia, I probably want to do Prisea. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know, I, yeah, little I... girl with, like, hammer or axe is kind of what, it's, it, that, 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 that's just funny to me. <laughs> no, I, I just love that cast so much. Traversal can get a little. Uh, um, I need to. Funky. I need to remember. I can talk to Polari in these rooms. That is his mm. name, right? Polari. Or uh, Pol I don't know. Yeah. Um, freeze frame. Okay, we've got another collection mission. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, how did you feel about the uh, Symphonia anime, Scrappy? You already asked me. Did I? Oh yeah, I think you asked us during the same Let's Play. <laughs> oh, I don't remember. I think- well, you said it was a pretty good adaptation, right? Mm. Yeah, I, I, I- yeah. I never played the game, so I wouldn't have any idea of how faithful it was, but it was enjoyable enough. Mm. That was a question directed at, um, Harry, so... Yeah, no, I thought it was a really good adapta adaptation. It was kind of just really interesting, because I- we, we watched it with um, Xavier and Scrappy and Xavier. Neither neither of them have played the game before, so it's inter interesting seeing like two different perspectives of like like me who has played the game and just seeing how they adapted things and another perspective where they like like they haven't s seen or played the game before, so that's just completely fresh. So. Meanwhile, you and I actually went for the game together. <laughs> mm. Well, most of the well, game you, together. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. You were just watching me through Discord or something. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed doing that. Mm. It was interesting. Yeah, because I, you didn't know how much of the game did you know before that? Me? Yeah. Um, only only bits and tips I got from uh, playing Dawn of the New World. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I have seen a bit of Dawn of the New World, but not a lot. I just know, I know that it's the generally not as well received. Huh? I know it's generally not as well received. Yeah, I've heard that. Um I don't know what exactly it does that people aren't like too fond of, but It might it might be the it might be how it handles the characters. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I don't know how people feel about the new characters. Divisive. Mm. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, I, I, I personally like Emil, but I, yeah, I. That's the, that's the guy, right? Yes. Emil. Yeah. How many new characters are there? Two, uh, three, three include, uh, well, at least three, including which includes the uh, the main villain. Ah, uh, okay. Three or four, yeah. So. Emil and Marta are your main two party members. Hmm. They're they're the ones who you control for the for the for the majority of the game because they're always with you. Okay. The rest of your party slots are filled by the monsters that Emil recruits. Hmm. Yeah. The only real f yeah, I I vaguely know about Emil, um, and I know like the uh, Symphonia cast like appear in the game sporadically. Um, They're just great members. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's about all I really know. But your main, your your main like, uh, <coughs> and so like Rick Richter kind of has like a a little bit of like a Kratos thing to ain't like 
in a way, but it's not the same. Mm. Like, he's just somebody that Emil looks up to, and, and so he can't believe that he's basically the villain. Hmm. I'm just gonna play this safe. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I think he, like, constantly belie believes in Richter, like, regardless. Hmm. Yeah. It, but it's, anyway, it, yeah. You I, uh, well, one thing I will say, I I appreciate the game like getting rid of the uh, the boulders in this section because um, I don't really need to deal with that stress. <laughs> Gosh, we're not even halfway through yet. Yeah, the thing, yeah, the thing with this one is that it's really long because it forces you to do the secret star section as well. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, it's going to be really hard to beat the uh, Symphonia cast for me, because I just love those characters so much. I did- I did like the, uh, Vesperia cast, though. Who is your favorite of the cast? I didn't- I didn't really, like, s like, settle down on a favorite, to be honest. Um... I thought, I thought it was- I thought it was Judith. <laughs> uh, Judith is probably my favorite girl of the group. I don't know if I'd say favorite overall. Well, that makes it sound. Well, you say that, and for some reason, in my mind, immediately thinks you're thinking about Yuri. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, Yuri's cool. Um... You yeah, know, I, I I'd have to think about that. So who's there? Like, there's Yuri, Flynn, um, Estelle, Estelle, um, Rita, Patty. Judith, Patty, <laughs> and Carol. Dog. Oh yeah, the dog. I repeat. I mean, the the dog does amuse me. He's just there. Yeah. I I think Nick pointed. I think you, it was your Nick who pointed out like at least repeat being there. And, and, and at least he's always by your side. Yeah, it's, it's good doggo. I mean, at least that also makes a good thing for player two. <laughs> yeah. 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 When you think of it that way, in the co-op sense, that works. <laughs> Although it's not like in the same way as the Lego as Lego games, like just need to make any excuse they can to give you a player two. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm thinking about. I guess um, it will probably yeah, it will probably be between Yuri and Judith, like either of those, mm. I guess. I mean, yeah, probably. I uh, oh yeah, we did we oh, did we mention Rita? Yeah, I mentioned Rita. Yes. Um, okay. She's up there. I wouldn't. She wouldn't be like favorite though. I know like. Nick like fawns. <laughs> we all we we know about Nick, so yeah, yeah. Nick like fawns over her, so. <laughs> well, because you know him, he has a secondary complex. <laughs> yeah, I mean that that's like, I think that that's like supposed to be his like number one waifu. <laughs> and one of them at the very oh least. God, I don't even need Starbucks. If not, is number one up highly up there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I I remember, like. Back in the day when, like, Nick always, like, talked about her all the time, so... Uh -huh. I think when I started talking to Nick, the very first things I heard him talking about was, was, was Severa and Fire Emblem Awakening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've known Nick for, like, a crazy long time. Might be... How long... For reference, how long have you known of Rob? Um, I, I, I forgot what I I forgot what he told me that one time. I because like I I asked him this he ever I asked him this like a couple weeks ago I think. Yeah. I feel I, I I think it's over. It's been over five years I think at the very least. Oh god. I've known him longer than you. Oh good. We're oh good. Yeah. We're in one of these situations. I hate this. The thing with I can't see where I'm landing. Uh. Blech. I don't... Well... It... Eh. Okay, good. I'm gonna do the Spyro thing. <laughs> yeah. Um... You know, because I've, I've known Nick since, like, what, 2012? Good! So... Sorry. Been a while. <laughs> Are you ready to find one stray coin? 
Yeah. Wait, I'm going to call him saw something. Oh, it's up there. Oh, there it is. Nice. Gonna need to get the ice flower again. I've known you for about five years, I think, at least. Um, well, it depends. When when was 06? When was the 06 LP? I need to look it up. Because I know that was my... that It was either, it was either that or Crash that was my yeah. first uh, commentary. Darn you, Ice Flower, and not giving me spin jump height. Sound like a six. Sound like a six. That commentary was the first part at the very, anyways, was was January fifth, twenty sixteen. Oh. Hmm. Did you ever record on New Year's? Uh, maybe. That sounds right. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> but we but we can say it's been at least six years. Yeah. And and when did you say you you knew Nick twenty twelve? I think so. It was either that or like somewhere in 20, 2011. No, actually no. I think Hmm. Alright, here's the I thing. You said you, you you said you talked to him you said you met him like via like the comments of a chant oh, right? Yeah, okay, I'm trying to remember, like, uh, I think I remember, I, I watched his stuff when it was, like, pretty much new, so... Was it, was it a Sonic 06 video? I think that was, like, the first thing he did. I'm checking his channel. I don't, well, I don't know if he still has his old stuff, like, available. But, yeah, no, oh. I, I, yeah. What are we saying? I was just saying anything, I was just lamenting my arm, which I drew out this uh, morning. Rip. 